everyone, this is Leadhead, and I'm coming out with my Shave of the Day for today. It's November 6, 2017, and I do want to say thank you for joining me uh, for the shave today. I definitely do appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. I know I am okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only okay. It's uh, Monday today, so, <clears throat> you know, getting back to the little grind and work and whatnot. Weekend went by pretty quick, pretty uneventful, didn't really do much, you know, but hey, that's how it is. Saturday, I did catch uh, JC's uh, live shave. That's pretty cool. I never get to see anybody's live shaves. I always, like, want to. Like, I know a Suffolk shaver usually does one on Sundays, but I'm, like, never home because I'm usually, like, visiting my dad or something like that. I'll, you know, try to, you know, go up to have a cup of coffee and whatnot with them. Shoot the shit. But, <clears throat> yep, Saturday night, I do it. Oh, crap. <laughs> so, I definitely made sure. It was pretty cool. I liked checking that out. So... But yeah, so definitely looking forward to the the shave today. <clears throat> and I really got to say thank you. This is a big shout out. Thank you, dedicated shave to Rick the Stick. What a great guy. We were talking in the YouTube comments and he's like, he mentioned that uh, he had a soap that he would give me because he thought it had a black licorice type of scent. And I was like, I love that. And uh, he sent it to me here. It's the first one I have from them, and I'm really looking forward to trying out. I hear great things. Uh, it's uh, Phoenix, Art Sorry, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Malpe. I think that's how that's pronounced. And uh, I looked this up earlier today, and the name Malpe, is, I, guess, I think it's Spanish. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's like bad country. And I look up the definition, they're like, it's like kind of like rough terrain and volcanic, like unweathered volcanic stone, and then aka Badlands. So I think it's like, they make, they're going for Badlands. <clears throat> that's probably what they're, that's pretty cool though. And uh, it's got a real nice scent. It's, I'm, he said it's black licorice. I don't quite get that, which is fine. It's definitely still a nice scent. And, you know, I definitely like black licorice, but this is very interesting. Uh, Definitely get a bit of leather out of here. And, well, here, I'll tell you. I have the scent notes written down here. <clears throat> it's leather, cedar, mesquite, bay rum, black pepper, mint, bergamot, tobacco absolute, and ginger. So, woof, a lot there. <clears throat> but uh, just going off that list, I definitely get the leather. It's in there. It's uh, and, and definitely the cedar, too, a little bit. Um, I don't know what mesquite smells like, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> With that, uh, Bay Rum, I guess I can get a little bit of that. Black pepper, maybe. Mint, yeah, that, uh, there's definitely like a fresh mint. I don't know. It sweetens it up a bit, I think. And uh, bergamot. That was tough. Tobacco. Yeah, I think I get a little bit of that. Ginger. Again, I think that's blended in with the bergamot. So, But it's uh, an excellent scent. <clears throat> That's what it looks like right here. Let me pull this up. So pretty full, so thanks, Rick. And it's uh not hard, but it's not soft either. I can you know I can make an indentation in it, but not that that really matters to me. If anything, maybe the soap being a little more hard, I think I like because uh, when it's real soft, it gets in the brush real easy and kind of I don't know. I feel like you don't get a, a good load when it's that soft, but hey. <clears throat> So there's the Phoenix Artisan Mall Pit, and he was actually very kind as well and sent me the matching aftershave. And I really wanted to try these uh, Phoenix aftershaves out. Mm, yep, very nice scent. They're supposed to be excellent for your skin. You know, I think they have like aloe and alum in them, and uh, they have a, supposed to be like excellent scent. They're aftershave and cologne, so they're a little bit more strong there than your normal aftershave. So definitely looking forward to that. Uh, on the hardware side, another big shout out again. <laughs> I just uh, placed an order with Wild West Shaving Co. for some soaps. So stay tuned for those. But <clears throat> Russell, very kind of him. Very, very kind of him. He watched my seven sins of wet shaving video and i mentioned that my lust 
was, you know, the, the one thing that I wanted. I wanted my birth year eraser. 1983, black, uh, super adjustable Black Beauty. <clears throat> I was like, you know, I, I saw somebody on Facebook. He had one, and I asked him, if he, you know, how hard was it to find? He said he was looking forever to find one. And I was like, you know, and I, I do look out every now and again. But by the time sometimes I'm ready to buy these type of things, <clears throat> I never, you know, there's nothing available. That kind of saved my pennies for stuff like that. So it just never hasn't come to fruition. But Russell was such a nice guy. He sent me a 1983 Black Beauty. Look at that. It's in pretty darn good shape to me. And, uh, yeah, it's real. Be I can't wait to try it. If it's as good as the Slim, I'm going to love it. And I'll tell you what I really like. Man, this handle is nice. I like the long handle because then you just grab it right here. I like to put my pinky right there and just, you know. So it should be nice and controllable. Really looking forward to it. Uh, the blade I'm going to be using here. It's a Astra Superior Platinum, or a Superior Stainless, rather. <clears throat> Second use. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully that'll be a good... And I think I'm going to go with uh, Setting 9. What else? And then, of course, you know, if I want to reduce, I can always do that. But I'll stick with 9 for now. So, again, thank you, Russell. You're the man. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Then the brush we're going to be using today, this is my Haircut and Shave Co. brush. It's got a 24 millimeter tuxedo style knot here. It's got this uh, faux ivory handle, real nice, nice weighted. It's got a good uh, density there. It's good backbone, not too floppy. So I definitely like this. Haircut and Shave Co. on Amazon. I think they're going for $17.95 right now, so not a bad price at all. And then finally, last but not least, Another new newbie in the den here. I just picked this up from the grocery store. It was on sale for $4.99. So I figured I'd get it. Got some Nivea Men. It's the sensitive, what is it? A cooling post-shave balm. So, you know, I was posting some of my shave days on Facebook and, you know, Reddit and stuff like that. And people are like, everything's looking pretty good. Well, I forget the one guy right now. shave -a -thon on Facebook. He's like, everything's looking good, except for that Nivea Men. <laughs> it's all crap. I'm like, well, you know. <laughs> so he's, he's like, you gotta get one of the, you gotta get the sensor. That's good stuff. So I did. So there you go, shave it on. <clears throat> yeah, so cooling. So I'm assuming this has menthol in it. But, okay, so that's some of the hardware, some of the software here. Kind of a long introduction, but I had to give my thank yous out. So again, thank you very much, Rick the Stick. Thank you very much, Russell. Definitely appreciate it. And... If you guys haven't watched them before, go to Rick the, Rick the Stick Shaving YouTube, Outlaw Shaver for Russell on YouTube. Awesome dudes. Great guys. Okay, so that's some hardware and the software, so we can go ahead and get the shave started. So let's go ahead and rock this shave out. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some hot water through this brush. Get this nice and hydrated here. My wife's taking a bath, so hopefully that's some hot water left. Yep, still some. I just got out of the shower. I was like... By the end of the shower, it was kind of a cool shower, not so much a warm sh shower anymore. So it's uh, wet there, so I'm just going to get this, uh, most of the water out, just so it's, oops, it. just so it's damp, not soaking. So I'll take this lid off here. Then I'll load the brush onto the puck here for about 30 seconds. We'll see, you know, this is the first time using this, so we'll see if this goes, but... I've heard good things about uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. <clears throat> I'm a frequenter of the Wicked Edge subreddit, and Douglas Smythe gets a lot of shit over there, which is too bad. He seems like a pretty cool guy. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty good already. That's nice and pasty. <clears throat> yeah, but he's not well liked. I guess he had some issues, you know, years ago. Unscrup unscrupulous business practices and things like that. I don't know. I think he's probably past that now. This was, God, this must be three years ago. You know, at least a few years ago that this all went down. <clears throat> There's always those usual guys that keep bringing it up, but hey, you know what? 
I don't mind him. He seems like a pretty cool guy. I'd rather be shading. He's probably my, one of my favorite YouTube channels. Check that out. It's really funny. Okay, so let's bring this to the face. We're just going to paint this on here just while it's thick. This is like the base coat. When you're painting the wall, you're going to put the base coat down so the next coat of paint is even better. So that's looking good, so I can add a little water into this brush here and go to town. Yeah, I haven't been doing too many face lathers recently because I've been going through those uh, <clears throat> those samples that Billy Curtis, Blind Man Shaves, sent me. Check out Billy Cur uh, Blind Man Shaves too. Great guy. Incidentally, I also found out Billy is legally blind. I had a sneak sneaking suspicion with that channel name. <laughs> but... But yeah, so, haven't really been doing many uh, face lines because of that. But, hey, you know, that's fine. Actually, I did do one on Saturday. Uh, I was messaging, I was commenting on a post on Facebook. Post my shave of the day. And the one guy, I think his name's Kevin. He was commenting that I put up a picture, like I had my lather ripped up. I put, put a picture, and he put, man, I wish I had my lather looked like that. So I was like, you know, talking to him, trying to give him some tips. And he messaged me the next day. Showing me pictures and whatnot. I'm going to put more water in here. I'll go with that. That's looking pretty good to me. Yeah, he sent me some pics. So I tried to like video them, but the video was like way first pass here with the green. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Ooh, that is like butter. Whew. Smooth. Number nine, and this blade is a good combo. Mmm. Dang, dang, dang. I like that. Whew, that's nice. That's nice. That feels good. But either way, but back to the story. <clears throat> I tried sending a video, but it was way too big. And it would take a long time to upload to YouTube. So I just video chatted with them, and I... <clears throat> Kind of showed him what I do. I did like a face lather with uh, Parasso Green. And I picked my floppiest brush. <laughs> just to, you know, show you can kind of work with anything. And then did a bowl lather for him. And he said it. He tried it the next day. And he, he went with uh, a good amount of soap. And just added in water gradually. And then sure enough, he was... When he sent me pictures, they were pretty... The lather was looking pretty watery. Wow, this is beautiful.
beautiful. Getting a great shave here. With a combo of the Rick the Stick and Outlaw. I don't know, I'm trying to. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to put those together, like Rick the Stick Outlaw. I don't know. But Rick the Stick and Outlaw Shaver combo here. And it's a good one. Now I just gotta. After this next. I don't know about my head shave. I gotta do that, like maybe tomorrow. I gotta do that. I wanna use the soaps on my face first, though. You know, that way you can kind of enjoy it, <laughs> smell it, even though this smells great, but even though with the Ella Shaver's uh, soaps, I put them on the noggin and I can smell them all the way from up there. There's a little residual slickness here, but <clears throat> this is so wide open that might not, you know, be helping anything. Okay, so that's first pass, so we'll go for pass number two here. It doesn't need to be super cushiony on the second pass, really, for me. <clears throat> okay, so I'll go uh, across the grain here. Oh, here, I'll open this. This razor is doing a great job. I'm really liking it a lot. It's definitely uh, aggressive. I can feel the blade quite a bit, but I like that. I don't know. Just you know, I could move it down, but it doesn't feel it doesn't feel uncomfortable to me. If it, if it did, I wouldn't have this high. Just getting a real close shave. Speaking of razors that give you a close shave and are aggressive <clears throat> on the Facebook groups, uh, the one guy, Monty Lowens. He just picked up the Pacific Safety Razor. That's the one from Dollar Tree. Buck. Big piece of crap, but man, gives a great shave. <laughs> But he was, he was like, live, he didn't do the video, but he was like doing, he put up a bunch of posts with him. He's like, I can't believe that I found this. He's like, oh man. But yeah, oh, third pass here. Maybe a little more water, just a smidge. Nice hot water. Oh, almost went in my eye. But yeah, he, uh. I don't think he was going to use it again, he said. But he was impressed with it, you know, to a point. He did say, though, it'll keep you honest. you got to have your technique down or it'll, it'll bite you, which is definitely true. No joke. Okay, I'll go across the grain. Or sorry, against the grain here. 
very gently. This is a real crap part for me here, but do the best I can. Yeah, I think I hit something there. Feeling pretty good. Got a bump here. Yeah, that's a bump there too. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't go over those. It just nails them. I tell you what, I'm getting a nice shave here. This is blemish there my <clears throat> weird spot It gets right under this nose. Nice. Okay, so that's looking pretty darn good there. <clears throat> yeah, just a little bumps hit, but what you gonna do? Just gonna put a little more wire through this. would be pretty run. This pretty much got me through three passes right about. Right amount. So I can just I'm gonna feel around quick just see if I need to do any pickups. Maybe right here. Like normal. Yeah, I might do it once over, just for the hell of it. Yeah, sorry to bleed, it's a bump. What was it? Beautiful. Okay, wash that off here. <clears throat> Put a little uh, cold water in the face. Oh boy. It's a good shave. It's a real good shave. Not bad at all. Dang, dang, dang. That's a good, good shave. <clears throat> I'm declaring it a good, a good combo. No complaints on my end so far. Okay, let's take a look here. Visual inspection. Yeah, I got a little bump right there. Definitely got a little zit. Right there, but... Oh, nice. That's beautiful. Tell you what. <clears throat> Setting number nine. <laughs> Three pass shave. I get you close. <laughs> yeah, it's like... BBS, baby. You know, right here. Have your else, boy. That's nice. That's a close shave. I'm liking that. Okay, so I'm gonna just re wet my face again here, quick. And I'll bring the Allen to the face. See what it has to say. I have a feeling it's gonna say a little bit here. Yeah. Just a little, not crazy.
crazy. It's definitely feedback. And the neck, oof. It's definitely a bit stingy, but hey. <clears throat> Not too bad though. Just a bit, but hey, that's fine. That's how I roll. Okay, so now we can move on to the splash here. Malpay. Like this, so just a dash lid in the hand here. Rub that in. Yeah, definitely a bit of a burn. I'm gonna put a little more on. Feels good though. Oh boy, that's a nice scent. It's very, it's a nice, it's a strong scent <clears throat> for an aftershave. I'll tell you that much. But yeah, oof, man, that's a, it's very manly. That scent. Like I said, you know, a lot of those uh, scent notes in here, it's some pretty manly stuff. Leather and cedar and mesquite. <laughs> Tobacco absolute. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. <laughs> it smells nice, though. It goes together well. Well blended. Okay, so there's the... Uh, okay, and I guess that's pretty much feeling dry here, but we'll do a recap before we apply the balm. So again, the razor. Whew, old as me. I'm going to be 35 soon. <laughs> so that's the 1983 Gillette Super Adjustable, a.k.a. Black Beauty. On setting number 9, we want it. The Blade Astra Superior Stainless. The brush was my Haircut and Shave Co. brush. 24 millimeter tuxedo nut. Definitely liking this. Great, great brush. And again, the soap and the aftershave. This is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Malpe. So great stuff. Again, thanks a lot, Rick. Definitely appreciate it. Again, Russell, thank you so much. Definitely appreciate the razor. Definitely was lost in after this. <laughs> I was lost in after some Phoenix artists and accoutrements too, so thanks, Rick, again. <laughs> okay, then we can finish this up here with the uh, Nivea Men Sensitive. What is this? Uh, cooling Poche Balm. So I'll cool me down a little bit. Put too much out there. It's a little bit of a weird. Yeah, bravo, oh boy, it's way too much. It's a little more uh, liquidy than I'm used to. It feels good on the face, tell you that much. Shit. That's okay. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, I could have gotten just a little bit less on that. But hey, what you gonna do? Put this clamp back on. This is a heavy duty bottle too. I, I feel like if I dropped this, it would probably break the floor before it break the bottle. <laughs> Excellent. So that does take care of the shave for today. Pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Some great products from some great friends. So thank you guys. Definitely appreciate it. So again, and I did want to say thank you for watching. So, you know, again, thanks for watching the video. I definitely do appreciate it. Uh, if you do check out my other videos, thank you for that as well. Uh, please like and comment below and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thank you to all the new uh, subscribers as well. I just uh, got about a dozen more. So thank you for that. Definitely appreciate it. And I did once again say thank you for watching. Hope you have a great night. Hope you have some great shaves.